to give us mercy. Brother Ivan, mercy goes a lot farther in God. It don't matter how far away we ran and how long we ran. And at 70, you come back to God. That mercy is there. That mercy is there. Oh, mighty God. The mercy of the Most High God. He died for us. Brother Brennan, I'm so glad his mercy goes far beyond what man's mercy is. It goes far beyond what man can give. Where we would just quit and give up hope, my God goes even farther. I've seen parents... Pray for their children and never see their children come back and they, they're dead and gone. And a few years after that, the, the son's picking their hands up and praying and, and the family's worshiping God. And no matter where God has taken you, he still loves you where you're at and who you are. He loves you. Hallelujah, so good. It's so good to see Marcia back with us tonight. So glad you're here. Hallelujah. Brother Chad, so awesome. Hallelujah. It's still real, isn't it? It's still real. This is still real. Sister Brandon, is this still real? How many years? A lot. <laughs> Forever, Brother Brennan. Still real. 70 years? 65 years since you got the Holy Ghost? It's still real, 65 years. 38 years, still real. Brother Ivan, is it still real? Is this what your dad preached, your grandpa preached, your great-grandpa preached? Ain't this still real? This is still real. No matter how many years, it's still real. You can walk on. Brother Chad, it just gets better. It just gets better. And you get to see things that most people don't get to see in this world you get to see miracles oh you get to see the things of God and what he does hallelujah give the Lord a great big hand clap <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah we are so excited brother and sister Bennett are with us tonight and uh now they're a licensed minister. I am so thankful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So glad that uh, they are uh, uh, with us tonight. Hallelujah. You may be seated. And uh, so glad uh, everybody is here watching and uh, with us in service. Uh, many things have transpired through the week. And uh, our God is in control of all things. Invite everybody that you can to come out for Sunday. Uh, it is Easter Sunday. I talked to a lady today. This is their first service after they've been shut down for a year. Over a year they haven't had church. And they're going for the first time. Don't you know I want God to pour out his spirit? Oh, that people are so excited that the Holy Ghost falls that they have never even experienced. Some of them churches that used to preach it years ago that don't preach it anymore. The Methodist church used to shake and quake 
My wife's great-grandfather was a shouting Methodist preacher. Yeah. Everything, a lot of our beliefs came out of the Methodist church. And here we are. My, 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 my wife's great-great-grand, her great-grandfather said, told his daughter, says, I don't have everything, so when you find it, I want you to grab a hold of it and never let loose. And she moved across the street of the Pentecostal church in uh, Garden City, uh, uh, down there in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and many, many preachers came out of there. The Holy Ghost was poured out, and she was part of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Brother Brennan, I want you to come, take your liberty. I feel the Holy Ghost, and I feel it's going to be easy to preach tonight. <laughs> you just sit loose. Uh, if you need something from God, don't you? You don't have to wait. You can get it whenever it touches you. If you hear something you want to get it, Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Come, Brother Brennan. Praise the Lord. She has my scripture. She knows what, what direction we're headed. Hallelujah. So as she began to sing this song, I couldn't, I couldn't help but the presence of the Lord come all over me. So right quick, if we'll go to our Bible, Psalms 119, verses 102 through 105, simply says this, And I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me how sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than the honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. 105 says this, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. And as we sing this song one more time, you'll understand that God has ordained this service for somebody tonight. Even before I chose my text and I chose the title of my lesson, God was already working. So just know that this word is for you. Let's sing it in Jesus' name. No sweeter name than the name of Jesus. No sweeter name than I've ever known. No sweeter name than the name of Jesus. We don't need preaching tonight, but I will preach. But I'm telling somebody, let the light of the Lord be in your life. Hallelujah. Let that love come in and, and heal all the wounds that are in your life. In Jesus. To my heart and my soul. You are, you the, are the light, the darkness the around me. Hallelujah. <laughs>
verse one more time. One more time. That my life. You are the light. Oh, my God. Come on, if he's the light of your of your soul, and he's that sweet taste in your mouth when you say his name, just lift your hands right now and tell how much you love him. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for saving me, God. Thank you for your light, God, that drives out the darkness in my life, God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. He is definitely my light and my love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. I just want, as I teach this lesson, for you to know if this message has been ordained for you tonight. Hallelujah. There's a saying out there, and it goes like this. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. When she began to sing that song tonight, I said, thank you, Lord. It's not me. It's not what I have down on the paper tonight, but it's God. God loves us enough. I don't even know the sister's name. How could have I got with her and told her what I was going to teach? But God knows. God puts it together, not us. If we'll follow after the leading with God, God will lead us in all directions as we should go. He will help us. Genesis 1 and 2 says this, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. I am also inclined to believe what they said about the earth. It was dark and without form and void. The Bible says darkness was upon the face of the deep. I was talking to some of the ministers that I converse with. And they began to tell me some things about when Satan was cast out of heaven, and that's what I want to bring to you tonight, is a message about light and love. If what people say, so I am also inclined to believe that they told me because it matches up with the Bible says. When I was talking to them, anytime you talk to somebody about the Bible and they say, well, this is what I believe, that's okay. But when you get a chance, you need to make sure that it lines up with the Word of God. Because it's like this, if what people say don't line up with the word, let's just put it plain, it's garbage in, garbage out, good in, good out. If we put the good word of God in us, it will be the good word of God out of us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Good, good, good word. Good word. Hallelujah. I, I enjoyed the time down at. Dale City, and, and I thank God he's so good. They asked me a question there. They said, why now? Why did you wait till you're 53 years old? And I said, well, I guess that's how long it took for God to get put me in the right direction. Hallelujah. But I, I have felt a calling on my life since a young man, as many have felt and run from it. And I thank God. I, I thank God that he's kept me. For such a time as this. Hallelujah. Lucifer came against God and God kicked him out of heaven and cast him out. And cast him down. His name was Lucifer. Lucifer means light bear, shining one, or morning star. The Bible tells us that Lucifer was the most powerful angel in heaven. The Bible describes him in this way says this in Ezekiel 28 and 11. It says, And you were modeled after perfection. You were full of wisdom. You were perfect and beautiful. He 
was already perfect and beautiful. But he let pride come in. He let things come in his life. He kept he let uh, selfishness come in his life. And as I was studying this and and I thought about what Brother Booker had told me one time as I was asking talking to him and he said if you look up every man in the Bible that failed it always goes back to selfishness I don't want to be selfish I don't want I don't want something that don't cost me something I don't want to covet other man's stuff I want God to give me stuff hallelujah God threw him out with such force when he hit the earth it caused a big bang you want to know where the big bang come? Right there is where it come from. When Satan hit the earth. Hallelujah. So it says this in Isaiah 14, 12 through 16. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? What comes up in the morning? The sun. Light. He was the angel of light. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weak in the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above all the stars of God. I will set upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. To the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, and that did shake the kingdoms. Where did the dinosaurs come from? Where did they go? When Satan hit, I mean, this is from the first chapter of David, so just be, bear with me. <laughs> the dinosaurs were here. They say, what wiped them out? Could it be that when Satan hit the earth, it destroyed and it became void and darkness? So here he was exiled to a place void of light, void of heavenly things. Here was a here was an angel that was modeled after perfection. Here was an angel that was full of wisdom, beautiful, perfect. And here he was in a place void of heavenly things. And then God said, you know what I'm going to do? I can imagine as God looked down and he seen where Satan had hit the earth and it was nothing down there. It was lifeless. There was nothing there. Void. So I'm going to go down there. Right in the midst of his chaos. Where I cast him out to. And I'm going to create a beautiful thing. And as, as he come to earth. And the Bible says the earth was without form and void and darkness upon the face of the deep. So here's the good part. What's the first thing he did? <laughs> I totally missed this several times when I read it in the scripture. He created light and utter darkness and chaos. And he said, you know, I'm going to create a world and a people right in the place in the midst of where I kicked you down to. And they will love me and they will hate you. Hallelujah. He went right in the middle of all the world's voidness and its chaos and created things that we see and hear today. Right in the midst of his, of his abandonment, he went right in the midst. So light, if you're confused and lost in destruction of your life, if Lucifer has crashed your life and you don't know what to do, light and love of God will come and completely restore and rework your whole life. Everything that Satan has made void in your life, everything that he has destroyed, you let the light and the love come in your life. And it'll be perfect. He'll make you a perfect symbol of his love. He'll give you wisdom that passes all understanding. I'm telling somebody tonight, it was already here before I got here. <laughs> Hallelujah. John 8 and 12 says then, says this, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light, the light of life. He is the light. 
He is the light. The light shadows, the light drives out the shadows. And I don't know if some of you know, but I'm on, I am a deputy sheriff, and we have to have a bright light. When we go out, stuff is lurking in the shadows. It's a dangerous world out there. But you see, sometimes in the corner of your life where there's some of sin still in there, you need the light of Jesus to shine in there. You need it to shine in there and drive the darkness out. All them shadows of sin that's in your life that you ain't got rid of, you need to shine it out. Let that light of Jesus come into your life. Let it clean it out. When you're dealing with something and you don't know how to get rid of it, and you say, God, why won't you take from this from me? Have you ever just got alone and said, God, let your light, let your light come in and drive out the darkness that's in my life? Hallelujah. The earth was form and void without light. So I wrote down here when we get pulled over for something we didn't do right, and we've all been there. It's the middle of the night, and them lights are flashing, and then they pull up on you, and all of a sudden, right in your face. Why do they do that? Why do they shine that light in your face like that? Because it blocks out the evil that might do something to them. When you get the light of Jesus in your life, it'll help you walk through an evil world, and he'll block out all that sin and that evil. If you get so blinded by the light of God, you won't see the sin. You'll be able, the Bible says, to walk over the adders and the, and the evil things, and, and it will not hurt you. Adders is a, is a spiny-like creature, but when you step on the poison gets in you. But if you got the light of God leading you, as we read there at the first scripture, it said, He is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Let the, light of, let the light of God lead and guide you. Yes. Quit leaning on your own understanding. Yes. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when the power of God's spirit comes in, the love of God will heal you, and the light will drive Satan and the demonic spirits out just like the light. It will drive it out. The uh, darkness can operate in, in light. When we flip on the switch, the darkness leaves. A lot of us, when we walk out the church door, we flip off the light. Our light should shine powerfully. It should shine. In the beginning was, the, was light first. It was the word of God. His words were so powerful that it drives out the darkness. It couldn't stay. The Bible says he said, let there be light, and there was light, and he saw that it was good. It's the first thing he did. That's the first thing he's going to do in your life. Is he's going to flip that switch on. And then you can live, as Brother Stephen said. You want to see things that you've never seen before? Get a hold of God. Yeah. Let him lead you. He'll show you things that you've never seen. You'll be in awe. Wow, i never seen that. When you read the Bible and you've read it and you've read it and you've read it again and i got to read my Bible again through cover to cover, that's what i got to do. That's a requirement. Get that word of God in you so in that day you can stand. Hallelujah. John 1, 11 and 12 says this. John was that light, but whenever he spoke to the light, his words and his power to make people believe in something they had never experienced. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. When that light shines on you, and you know you'll believe, you'll believe, because your life, you'll see your life changing. You'll get up one day, and you just won't have that desire no more. Because that light will be leading you and guiding you. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to listen to what I'm saying here tonight. 
light and power. When we see the light of God through Jesus Christ, we receive power to become sons and daughters of God. When the spirit that created this entire universe gets in us and we see through his eyes, we'll become sons and daughters of him. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and life was the light of men and life was the light of men. You don't have a life until you get the light of Jesus Christ in your life. Until you get that Holy Ghost that's going to lead and guide you. And the light shineth in the darkness. And what does it say? In the darkness comprehended it not. Hallelujah. The light, the darkness don't comprehend the light. When we shine that light like it did a while ago, when we shine that light, it flashes. It drives it out and it can't stay. It can't stay. Hallelujah. I thank God for the light. I thank God for the light. He took a, he took a, a boy that was raised on a Pentecostal pew and he put light in my life. One that was hard towards the things of God. But when I got out in that dark world, I knew that I had left the light. I had turned that switch off. And I had to get back to where I could flip that switch on again. When we are filled with the Spirit of God, we have that self-same Spirit that spoke the world into existence. The light of God will drive out the darkness in our lives. That self-same Spirit, that only one Spirit that created the entire universe lives in us. He is leading and guiding us. Hallelujah. We can't dim our light so that we look like the world. We can't fit in like our, as, as it's been said, our half brothers and sisters that ain't got the full truth. They're, they're teaching it, but they're aboard them at the altars of salvation. They lead them right up to it, and then they turn the light off. I don't want to turn the light off in anybody's life. I don't want to be convicted of, of spreading darkness in my world. I want to be convicted of letting God's light shine before men that they may see his good works and glorify him. Hallelujah. Colossians 1, 12 through 14 says this, giving thanks unto the Father which has made us be partakers of inheritance of the saints in what? In light. Who hath delivered us from power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even forgiveness of sin. Hallelujah. That's the light that does that. That's the light of God Almighty. Hallelujah. John 1, 6 through 12 says this, For there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of that light. He was here saying, hey, there's a light coming that's going to that's going to calm all your fears. You know, when we were kids, a lot of us, we were scared of the dark. Mom would let us take a flashlight to bed with us. And now they got them little toys that can punch and they flicker and they're scared of the lot of the darkness. Even kids know children, little kids that can't even hardly talk. They know they don't want it to be dark around them. We. At, the Bible says that we should come as a little child to him. And when he hands us that light, we need to let it shine that the whole world can see. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. He's, you have the power of that light tonight. Hallelujah. John, 1 John 4, 6 through 9 says this. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. 
he that is not of God heareth us not. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that the love of God toward us, because the God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. So when we get the light of Jesus Christ in our lives, love comes right along with it. It comes right along with it. We have to be like, like God through Christ. What does it say? It says that God so loved the world that he gave his only son that through him we might live. I want to be like Jesus Christ. I want to be a Christian. I want to have this light and let it shine through me and let it lead me and lead others as I come to them. I guarantee you, you take a lot of times the women, they'll have that wedding ring on and it'll be sparkling. What are they seeing off that, off that jewel is they see the reflection of the light. I want to be a reflection of that light. Amen. That when somebody sees it on me, they come up and go, oh, let, let, let me look at that. How, how'd you get that? Where'd you get that at? If you walk in the light, people will see it reflecting off of you, and they'll want to know where you got it at. And when you share it to them, the love of God will pull them in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians 4, 15 through 16 says this, But speaking the truth in love may grow up unto him in all things, which is the head, even Christ from the whole world, bodily, fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of its love. So it, every time you love somebody, that body just comes together more and more and more. The Bible says in the last day, he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Me and the wife was talking about that this, this, uh, this evening. And I was talking, uh, you know, we, we see it on every hand, things getting worse and worse. And I said, well, you know, you remember when they had Israel had its war how they would let the bombs out of their plane and they would explode in the air. Or they would hit the ground and wouldn't go off. What's going to happen when America goes to its knees? Let me tell you what's going to happen. A cry is going to go up. <laughs> that light again <laughs> is going to drive the darkness out. And there will be a revival like we've never seen before. That love of God is going to be spread and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm looking for that day. I think that day is very close. Hallelujah. We as a church in, in North Miami had one of the ministers come to us, local minister, right around the corner from us. And he wants us to hold a revival with him. And they're praying for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost and signs and miracles. He wants us to lead in worship. He wants us to pray for the people in the altars. He knows. He knows. He's seen the light coming from a church. Not because of who we are. Not because we've grown over the past two years. He sees the light and the love. And it's wooing him in. He wants to know about it. So I'm going to sum this up for us. So we have to have the light of God to purify our lives of sin. It's the light that drives out sin. And the love of God is what saves us and helps us be like Jesus Christ and walk in the light and not be in the darkness. Light and love. We got to have it. If we don't have the light, we're in darkness. If we don't have the love, we're hating. And as I said at the, at the first of it, love, hate cannot drive out hate. It takes love to do that. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. It takes the light to do that. Hallelujah. Thank you all for letting me come.
and give you a word, but the word was already here. It was already in the plans way before I sat down this afternoon when my pastor called me and said, can you go to Vanita? I said, love to. I didn't know what I was going to preach. I had two or three things on my phone I've been working on. But I chose that one and right along the music and the, and the worship and the, and the love of God. Brother Stevens got up and talked about the honey, sweet honeycomb. Hallelujah. God's here among you all. Let the love of God lead you. The light of God lead you and the love of God keep you. Hallelujah. Brother Stevens come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If we can play that song again, sister. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And worship. worship oh, let's her. stand and worship the Lord right here. Our